Previously, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk said that large volume battery production with 100 gigawatt hours is about 12 months away. Now, Tesla's Giga Texas started to produce at least a few gigawatt hours of per week battery output. Accordingly, Musk just revealed Giga Texas would produce 20,000 electric cars per week in 2022. Meanwhile, each car has 74.1 kilowatt hours of battery, hence 20,000 electric cars is equivalent to 1,482 megawatt hours of battery cells, which is incredible. How can the Texas Gigafactory reach such a large battery cell output in such a short time? Stay tuned to find out. But before we begin, please show your support by subscribing to our channel and ringing the bell so you won't miss any of our interesting videos in the future. Now without any further delays, let's get started on today's content. Giga Texas can produce a massive number of 4680 cells thanks to advanced technology. Tesla has unveiled some footage of its next-generation 4680 battery cells being produced. The video of their 4680 battery production line shows the company's level of automation has reached that which has never been seen before. Unlike traditional battery manufacturing facilities, this 4680 battery production line from Tesla is largely absent of workers and robots will perform in place of humans. This helps Tesla increase battery production capacity by up to 400%. The consistency of the 4680 battery's layout can accommodate different Tesla vehicles, and robots can automate assembly in all these cases, as well as help reduce human labor requirements. In a battery assembly line, a robot can grab and press in all battery cells at once, probably using resin for bonding to the honeycomb. Then, they'll automatically make the circuit connections, the same machine can potentially do this for any pack size by grabbing a different number of rows or columns of cells. Particularly, the 4680 battery pack at Giga Texas has been broken into four smaller cell arrays which are called modules. The structure is different from the 4680 battery pack at Giga Berlin which was a mono slab. You can see this in the assembly process where a robot picks up rows of cells and puts them directly into the pack. Tesla seemed to add strengthening ribs, or corrugations, to the pack to increase longitudinal strength, hence the spaces in between the cell arrays. Next, the cooling snakes run lengthwise in the battery pack instead of crosswise. Thus, Tesla has indeed created a hyper-automated system to produce its 4680 battery cells. The company could very well end up widening the gap between itself and its competitors even further. Traditional automakers today, after all, are still utilizing modular battery packs that would require a notable degree of human assembly. Moreover, the 4680 cells with their 80mm height enable continuous motion battery cell manufacturing, which is similar to bottle production at beverage companies. This speeds up cell production compared to current procedures practiced at Giga Nevada's cell manufacturing facility. Additionally, Tesla's 4680 battery cell is tabless. It is meant to involve dry electrode production that drastically reduces the number of stages in manufacturing as well as using different materials for the anodes and cathodes. Aside from that, Tesla also applied a cooling simplification process for 4680 cell line production. Accordingly, the new tabless cells have their heat output concentrated at the bottom, where a simplified cooling layer can remove the heat. On top of that, Drew Buglino, Tesla's senior vice president powertrain and energy engineering, shared, the vertical integration with the machine design teams at Giga Texas allows us to really accomplish high battery production capacity, because we don't have any of these edge conditions between one piece of equipment and another. Tesla's relentless pursuit of vertical integration comes from a desire to eliminate inefficiencies and improve the sustainability of the product. Their vertical integration is also a much needed improvement in increasing battery production speed. Furthermore, Musk also affirmed about the 4680 battery packs in Giga Texas with... Uh, another major innovation is the st is structural pack. So, uh, we're basically um, make, bringing to fruition the things that we said we would do. A structural pack where the cells themselves carry a load, um, just like modern airplanes where the, the, the wing is a a fuel tank in wing, in wing shape. So, with the support of such advanced technology, how many 4680 batteries can Giga Texas produce in a week? 
According to some sources, currently Giga Texas produces around 5,000 vehicles per week, equivalent to more than 4 million 4680 batteries to be produced. It's estimated that in the future, Tesla's Giga Texas can produce up to 20,000 Model Ys per week, while each vehicle has 828 battery cells with four modules. Therefore, it comes out to 16,560,000 cells, which is equivalent to 1.482 gigawatt hours. It'll be four times as much as the current number, and that's amazing. Another special feature about the 4680 battery pack manufactured at Giga Texas is its energy density. The volumetric energy density of the 4680 battery pack is a pretty impressive number compared with others. Accordingly, the Chevrolet Bolt EV was only 334 watt hours per liter. The new Tesla 4680 battery pack comes in at 441 watt hours per liter. Hence, the volumetric energy density of the Tesla 4680 battery pack is one and a third times as much as the battery of Chevrolet's Bolt EV. Ultimately, the 4680 battery pack from Tesla is completely different from its rivals. Let's take a look at what most competitor battery packs look like. They use large prismatic and or pouch cells in strange configurations that suit the shape of the vehicle. Can you imagine a robot automating the assembly of any of these packs? The answer is no. It requires a large amount of human labor. There are redundant casings, hundreds of unique part pieces, and cables. Different layouts for different vehicles, and many unique points of potential failure at any time. For example, the battery systems in Volkswagen's new e-car models are flat and located between the axles in the vehicle's underbody. They're shaped a little like a bar of chocolate. Every battery system is composed of a variable number of battery modules, which in turn consist of individual cells. Previously, Volkswagen planned to use three different types including smallest, medium, and largest battery packs in the first electric cars built on the MEB chassis, based on the LG Chem cells in which the smallest battery has a total capacity of 55 kilowatt hours with eight modules. Next, GM has big plans to release as many as 30 new EV models by 2025. The new Ultium battery system is at the heart of GM's electrification strategy. GM says the Ultium system delivers a pack level cost close to the magic number of $100 per kilowatt hour, which is a tenth of the cost of the batteries that powered the 2010 Volt, and a price point that will finally make selling EVs a profitable proposition. The heart of the Ultium system is a pouch type lithium ion cell, weighing about 3 pounds with a gross energy capacity of 0.37 kilowatt hours. However, the battery packs of the two car of the latter two car manufacturers mentioned still need the intervention of engineers during production. Just take a look at Tesla's new 4680 battery pack structure. This structure can be rapidly casted as a single large piece, and it contains a number of rows and columns to fit the cells. And that's it for today's episode. We'd like to take this time to thank you for your support of Tesla Car World. Our content continues to improve in quality, all thanks to viewers like you. So if you have any thoughts about today's episode, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. And as always, if you enjoyed our video, don't forget to leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you won't miss out on the next episode. Once again, we thank you so much from all of us here at Tesla Car World. We hope to see you again next time. Until then, have a wonderful time and be safe.